Welcome back to Sports Edge. The relationship a sports fan has with their dad is like your first best friend. The first person you talk to when your favorite team wins or loses, or the one you look to in the crowd after you make a great play. For Danny Upchurch, that person is no longer in the stands, but is always on his mind. Whether it was high school or AAU, go to a game where Dan Upchurch is playing, and you'd be sure to see his father, Dan Sr., in the stands. He never missed my game. That was, that was one thing. AAU, he would travel to Virginia, Florida, uh, Vegas. He was, like, he was always at the game. He was always that parent yelling at everybody's kids like it was his kid. Dan Sr. played basketball at Harding and was proud to see his son on the court. Danny Jr. was proud of his dad, too. The way he treat my mom and stuff and my little brother and treat us, I, it made me want to be a leader like him, and I look up to him like that. Before Danny Jr. senior year at Notre Dame or Fairfield, he had to be a leader, not just of his team, but of his family. We just came home from a game or whatever, and everything was good. We were chilling at home on the couch. Nothing was wrong, and out of nowhere, he just grabbed his chest and said his, um, he had a pain or whatever, and his chest was hurt. Dan Sr. had to be rushed to the hospital where doctors discovered he had a torn artery. He was hospitalized for 30 days. I just went to the hospital every day after school. Some days I wouldn't go to school. I was just trying to be near him and be at his side. Then, just before Danny Jr.'s birthday, his father died of heart complications on November 27th, 2012. He was 37. It was just, it was tough. Like, um, I had to comfort my mom at the same time because her and my father was like partners and stuff. And I had a little brother that was one years old. I had to let him know that everything's going to be all right. And it would be. Danny Jr. says he didn't want sympathy. He wanted to lead. He wanted to be strong. My dad wanted me to play basketball more than anything. So I just like stayed in the gym, just kept working. And I dedicated that season to him. And I just like went off that season. He changed his number from 11 to 10 his dad's old number, went on to play Division I basketball at Charleston Southern and is now at UNH, looking to leave there, too. And his father would be proud. I know he would want me to win. He'll be happy for me.